Welcome to our video on biology, the study of fish. Fish are fascinating creatures that have captured the attention of humans for centuries. From their unique physical features to their diverse habitats, fish have much to offer in terms of scientific study. In this video, we will explore the biology of fish and the various aspects of their lives that make them so interesting. Fish are aquatic animals that belong to the phylum chordata and the subphylum vertebrata. They are characterized by the streamlined bodies, fins, and gills, which allow them to breathe underwater. Fish come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, from tiny minnows to mesa sharks. Fish are found in nearly every aquatic environment on Earth, from freshwater streams and lakes to the depths of the ocean. They play a vital role in the food chain, serving as prey for larger animals and as predators themselves. But what makes fish so unique? Let's take a closer look at their biology. Fish have a number of adaptations that allow them to survive in their aquatic environments. The streamlined bodies reduce drag in the water, allowing them to swim more efficiently. This provides stability and maneuverability while gills extract oxygen from the water. But fish are more than just physical adaptations. They also have complex social behaviors and communication methods. Some fish use visual cues, such as coloration and body posture, to communicate with each other. Others use sound, such as the clicks and pops of some species of shrimp. Fish also have a remarkable ability to adapt to their environments. Some species can survive in extreme conditions, such as the high salinity of the Dead Sea or the freezing waters of the Arctic. Others can live in complete darkness, such as the blind cavefish found in underground rivers. As we delve deeper into the study of fish biology, we will explore these adaptations and behaviours in more detail. Join us for the next segment, where we will discuss the anatomy and physiology of fish. In the previous segment, we explored the unique adaptations and behaviours of fish. In this segment, we will delve deeper into the anatomy and physiology of fish. From their skeletal structure to their digestive system, fish have a number of fascinating biological features. Fish have a bony or cartilaginous skeleton that provides support and protection. Their fins are supported by rays or spines, which are made of bone or cartilage. The swim bladder, a gas-filled sac, helps fish maintain buoyancy in the water. Fish also have a unique circulatory system. Unlike mammals, fish have a single-loop circulatory system where blood flows from the heart to the gills, where it is oxygenated, and then to the rest of the body. This allows fish to extract oxygen more efficiently from the water. Fish also have a variety of sensory organs that allow them to navigate their environment and locate prey. The lateral line system detects changes in water pressure, allowing fish to sense movement and vibrations in the water. Their eyes are adapted to see in low light conditions, and some species can even see ultraviolet light. Fish also have a diverse range of feeding strategies. Some are herbivores, feeding on algae and plants, while others are carnivores, feeding on other fish or invertebrates. Some species are even parasitic, feeding on the blood of other fish. Fish have a simple digestive system with the mouth, esophagus, stomach and intestine. Some species have specialized teeth or jaws for crushing shells or tearing flesh. Others have a unique feeding mechanism, such as the suction feeding of some species of catfish. As we continue to explore the anatomy and physiology of fish, we will gain a deeper understanding of their biology and the unique adaptations that allow them to thrive in their aquatic environments. Join us for the next segment, where we will discuss the classification and diversity of fish. In the previous segment, we explored the anatomy and physiology of fish. In this segment, we will discuss the classification and diversity of fish. With over 30,000 species of fish in the world, there is a wide range of diversity in their physical characteristics, habitats, and behaviours. Fish are classified into three main groups, jawless fish, cartilaginous fish, and bony fish. Jawless fish, such as lampreys and hagfish, are the most primitive group of fish and lack jaws and paired fins. Cartilaginous fish, such as sharks and rays, have a cartilaginous skeleton and five to seven gill slits. Bony fish, such as salmon and tuna, have a bony skeleton and gill covers. Bony fish are the most diverse group of fish, with over 27,000 species. They are further classified into two main groups, ray fin fish and lobe fin fish. Ray fin fish, such as trout and bass, have fins supported by bony rays. Low fin fish, such as longfish and coelacanths, have fins supported by fleshy lobes. Fish also have a wide range of habitats, from freshwater streams and lakes to the depths of the ocean. Some species, such as salmon, are anadromous, meaning they live in the ocean but return to freshwater to spawn. Others, such as eels, are catadromous, meaning they live in freshwater but return to the ocean to spawn. Fish also have a diverse range of behaviours. Some species, such as angelfish, form monogamous pairs and defend a territory. Others, such as schools of sardines, form large groups for protection against predators. 
Some species, such as the electric eel, use electrical signals to navigate and locate prey. Unfortunately, many species of fish are threatened by overfishing, habitat destruction and pollution. It is important to understand the diversity and importance of fish in our ecosystems and to work towards their conservation and protection. As we conclude our exploration of the biology of fish, we hope that you have gained a deeper appreciation for these fascinating creatures. From their unique adaptations to their diverse habitats and behaviours, fish have much to offer in terms of scientific study and conservation efforts.